What's up, Ravens fans? It's time to hear from you guys in this week's Ravens Mailbag. Free agency is right around the corner, Mink. The Ravens already took a step to get ready for that by extending safety Chuck Clark this week. So the moves are already starting to happen. Yep. So let's jump into the mailbag to see what the fans want to know. The first question today is dealing with free agency. And it's from Ace Boogie, who wants to know, what are the chances of signing Chris Jones, the defensive tackle from Kansas City yeah. in free agency, and letting Judon test the market? Well, I'll really talk to Chris about Chris Jones first. And first, I love this period of free agency because it's when you can kind of like dream big, right? Yeah. You just throw out every big name that you <laughs> see, and you're like, how about we sign that guy? Yeah. You know, Chris Jones, my initial reaction to this was, no, not, not having it, not having it. Because, yeah. uh, because just because too much he, money? Just too much money. I mean, he's going to get a huge payday. I mean, the guy's got 24 and a half sacks the past two years. He's going to get paid, yeah. right? But then, you know, you think about it, and the Ravens do have more cap space. He is at a need. The Ravens could need, the edge rushers are a big deal, and everybody's talking about that, but interior pressure would be a big addition for mm -hmm. this team. Like I said, 24 and a half sacks last year. He he can be a game wrecker. I do think the Ravens have flexibility to make a splash signing this offseason. And I think if they are going to do that, it's going to be on defense as opposed to wide receiver. Sorry, fans. I know that's very disappointing. <laughs> you know, it's, we don't have as many receiver questions I, I, this year. Yeah, finally. Here we go. <laughs> we can move on. Um, I'm sure we'll get to them. Yeah. Uh, but so I think they can make a splash, and that would be a big splash. That would yeah. be a tidal wave right there with Chris Jones. But I, I like the player, and, and he is at a need. Yeah, so. I, I agree with kind of your first sentiment. I think it would be tough to see it happen. I don't think it's going to happen, but I'm not going to rule it out. You're completely. intrigued. You're intrigued. Yeah. All yeah. right, let's keep the questions coming here. The next one comes to us from Marut, who wants to know, who do you think EDC, that's Eric DaCosta, in case you're wondering, is more likely to re-sign? Michael Pierce or Patrick Owasso? We'll forgive the spelling. Yeah, in case you're wondering who that is, that's <laughs> yeah. old Patrick Owasso. Yeah, we'll forgive the spelling on that. Does Eric <laughs> let both of them walk? You know, I think that it's going to – both these guys have the potential to leave, certainly. Yeah. I think Michael Pierce, you know, when he talked at the end of the season, he kind of made it clear that he felt like his time in Baltimore might be coming to an end. He kind of was saying goodbyes in the locker room, a locker cleanout day, because he knows that this is his opportunity to go and get paid and test that market and go to the highest bidder. And he has certainly earned that right. So yeah. I think it's going to be tough to keep him. Patrick Owasso is going to be an interesting one. You know, he's somebody who didn't have a great season last year, but he's shown over the course of his career that he can be a really productive player. Playmaker. He can be a playmaker. Maker. I mean, going back to 2018, he had a huge second half of that season punch. and helped the Reva kind of propel this team to get to the postseason. Uh -huh. So I think that he could have some suitors as well. I think that there's a chance that he ends up back in Baltimore. The Ravens still have a need at inside linebacker. Him and Josh Bynes are two guys who are both unrestricted free agents. Yep. So I think if I'm saying which of these guys is more likely to come back, I would say Peanut. I think Pierce is going to get a bigger payday. And when you have Brandon Williams already, it was kind of a luxury to have Brandon Williams yeah, and yeah. Michael Pierce. So what about and Chris Jones now? Yeah, and, and now we have Chris Jones. So um, yeah, I, I agree with you. All right, let's wrap it up. Final question here today. This one comes from uh, Patrick Nicholas. Which of the two is a bigger need, linebacker or edge rusher? This is really tough. Uh, I would probably lean on edge rusher at this point, just because the Ravens are so flexible in their defense that they showed last year. I mean, they picked up Josh Bynes and LJ Fort midway through the year, both became starters, and the defense was the best defense from week seven on. Yeah. So I think inside line, having an inside linebacker would be great, and the feeling after Derrick Henry kind of went wild in the playoffs is, we need a run stopper, we need that mm -hmm. inside linebacker, and that would be awesome. I'd love to have CJ Mosley, you know, once again, the next CJ Mosley walk through those doors, I just kind of feel like with the way the Ravens are constructed, with their secondary, if you can add to that pass rush a little bit more, now it's really dangerous because opponents don't want to get the ball, can't get the ball out fast, and now you have a pass rush that can really threaten them. I think edge rusher right now is the bigger need. And it obviously depends on what happens with Matthew exactly. Judon. Exactly. That's what I was going to say. Edge rusher can become an even bigger need, oh, yeah. obviously, if Matthew Judon ends up leaving a free agency or if the Ravens decide not to use the franchise tag on him. Completely. So, look, we're going to answer a lot more questions around free agency over the course of the next couple of weeks. So, keep them coming every single week by sending us your questions on Twitter using the hashtag Ravens Mailbag. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great day.